everyone. Welcome to the Severide House. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, this is going to be an amazing show. Um, Annie Sumi um, is a very special friend of the Severide House. This is our third time here. <laughs> she uh, played here um, with uh, Travis, her now husband, um, in uh, 2021. Uh, no, it might have even been 2020, I'm thinking. Um, when we were outside and six feet apart and going like this with everybody, <laughs> wearing masks and, um, yeah, so, and then they stayed with us a couple days. I mean, it was a, you know, interesting time to be a traveling folk musician because there were no gigs and, you know, you guys came out and, um, you know, participated in those shows and we really, really appreciate it. I know Annie and Travis do and then they came back, uh, I think it was 2020, I think they came back in 2021, so, but Annie said, I have to come back and play in that living room. <laughs> so, and it is, it's a very special room, it's a magical room, the sound is great in here and um, so we're, we're really happy to have him back. Annie's um, from Toronto and Travis is from Ithaca yeah. and uh, they live on um, a turkey farm <laughs> and they grow herbs and uh, they make music together and we're really fortunate to have them back. So give them a big round of applause and welcome. <laughs> different than I don't know if you were at any of the backyard shows yeah it's a different feeling it feels like there's this beautiful container for the sounds in here um, yeah what more to say One of 
One of these days, my friend, one of these days I will be growing up beside you just like it should have been. I remember we went hiding in the tall grass until the sun laid down his arms against the field setting fire to our sweetest dreams and one of these days we will evaporate and become closer to where we were before the fall the fall in rain ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is Travis Knapp, everybody. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> we want to say hi to everyone tuning in on the live stream, and thanks so much to Nikki for pulling that together. Um, I know we've got friends from near and far tuning in, so it's really special to feel the presence of everyone here and know that there's presence of everyone out there, too. It is a crazy world that we live in these days to be able to connect those multitudes. Um, this next song is called Nightingale. And it's all about just kind of shedding that particular light. Have you, have you ever felt really shiny as a human? You know, when you're doing something that you really love doing and suddenly you feel like a better version of yourself. Um, the song is kind of about that, so it's called Nightingale. I was only 17 when I met Gregory, he said he came from Jupiter. I was the moon up in the sky, oh how I cried when I heard the news that I was only one of 62. I took the long way home, skipped the cracks and told my mother lies, she never broke a bone. I said breaking hearts don't count, I tried to mend her. I'm trying still, but I'm a broken thing that never found its wings and I never will. And so I hop along in broken time, I don't belong to nothing. The river has been kind to me While the oven sent me on my way I'm full of broken melodies Waiting for the day that I'm a nightingale Today I woke up on the wrong side of your pillow talk I called you a fool Pushed you out the right side of my bed You hit your head and I hurt your pride But you thought I'd eat all the words between your teeth Well, think twice Because I hop along in broken time I don't belong to nothing the river has been kind to me Wind me up and send me on my way I'm full of broken melodies Waiting for the day that I'm a nightingale
<laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we love the Severide House. This is, uh, it is always so special coming back here. Feels like a bit of a home of away from home sort of feeling. Um, and Janet and Michael are the reasons that that is possible. And uh, this next song is called Maggie's Fire. It's a bit of a new one. And um, I, just, I just figured out Michael used to work in, in helping folks, homeless folks, um, find housing. Is that one of his jobs? Yeah. Um, houselessness has been a, a big problem uh, all over the world. And this song is a song that I wrote about a woman named Maggie. I used to be a tree planter out in BC in Alberta. Um, and so tree planting is like you go out into the bush for many, many weeks and months at a time. And uh, you have like four days on work out in the middle of nowhere and then maybe two or three days off and you get a ride into town sort of thing. Um, and one year I was planting, the closest town was Edmonton, Alberta. And so me and the crew went into Edmonton and I went into this cafe there and I was talking to the woman at the bar and I was like, hey, could I, could I grab a glass of water? And she did this thing that I'll never forget. She just looked at me and she looked me up and down and she was like, I'm sorry, we don't do that here. And um, yeah, it was brutal. It was really brutal. I think I'll remember the feeling internally for a long time. <laughs> but... Uh, and I kind of, I was puzzling about it, you know? I was like, what do you mean you don't do that here? And, um, but I looked out the window and there was a group of houseless folks that was hanging out on the street there. And basically she was saying, by the way I looked coming out of the woods for this job I was doing, um, she was saying that she doesn't serve drinking water to houseless people. And we got into a big argument about it, turned into a whole big thing. And I ended up uh, down by the water in Edmonton. Um, and I met this woman named Maggie. And she was a houseless person living in Edmonton, Alberta at that time. And just an incredible human being. Uh, she told me all about her life. It was kind of uncanny to me how willing she was to share her story. And so this song is a lot about uh, the words she wanted to share with me about changing the systems that that don't serve the most vulnerable people in our community. So it's called Maggie's Fire. Sitting by the river in the middle of the night You can hear the city buzzing in the streets behind She's got a sadness in her eyes Oh, me and Maggie in the pale moonlight She says I left home when I turned 16 Then I lost the child I was carrying Now I've been living on the streets trying to stay clean But life ain't easy when you lose something and So most of my days I've been a slave to a system it ain't serving me I swear they're trying to run me down Till I've have nothing left to shout at them Broken and strung out again Baby, burn it down If you get the chance Well, there ain't no hiding when the cold sets in It's a damn hard winter in Edmonton 
And so we light a fire in the garbage bin And she says, I got a story that'll break your heart Well now everybody called him the junkyard king Cause he could lay down the blues like you never see But he got high on methamphetamine and they closed down the clinic on 18th Street And late one night he OD'd And in the morning light we all sang God save the King Cause most of our days were all in by a system that ain't serving freedom I swear they're trying to run us down till we've nothing left to shout at them broken and strung out again baby burn it down if you get the chance the chance. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Travis and I, so Travis and I live on a little farm in upstate New York called Erin, New York. Has anyone, everyone been to Erin? <laughs> it's the tiny town of Erin, New York. Um, it's just southwest of Ithaca. So that might be a little more familiar, but. Um, and yeah, it was, it was new to me moving down, down to the countryside. And I have to say, it's quite a beautiful thing. Um, but I still have this love for being in a city, especially at nighttime. And I, I know that not every city is good to be in at nighttime. I do understand that. But there is sometimes that feeling of magic and whimsy that happens when you get to walk around a city at night. Um, so this song is something like a love song to the city. Late nights walking around the city with nothing to do Cold hands street lamps and Just what you had in mind Walking round the city late at night 3 a.m. Making your way down to the underground On the platform waiting Somebody's playing La Vie en Rose 
You feel like dancing, you feel like dancing Cause you're on your own We'll say la vie and you don't mind Dancing round the city late at night Oh Does everyone want to hear Travis Knapp take a solo? <laughs> Sunrise, awakening the city Your eyes are saying sleep when you're dead Go out instead Looking for fun You think you're crazy You think you're crazy But you're not alone No, oh, honey, I'm crazy too Dancing around the city on my Dancing round the city, babe, if you don't mind We'll go dancing round the city, oh, if you don't mind We'll go dancing round the city all night All night are so friendly. <laughs> I see some familiar faces, people that I've seen at a couple shows past. This, this community is really something special, I think. Um, every time I come out here, it seems like it's grown in some ways. Friends telling friends to come out. And uh, yeah, I just always feel floored by how beautiful this, this community is. Um, this next one, it's sort of an old one. It's from my, my second album. It's called Get By. And uh, a friend and I recently were talking about sharing the moment you wrote a song um, instead of maybe necessarily the story behind a song. And the moment I wrote this song um, was after I met this guy on a bus and we were heading out to uh, BC. I was heading out to BC, he was heading out to Alberta. And I had watched him say goodbye to his family on the platform uh, North Bay, Ontario, as we were getting on this bus. And it was this really sad scene, you know? I could tell that the family was really upset that he was leaving. and. And I ended up sitting next to him the whole way out to Alberta. And he told me his story. The story was that he couldn't find a job. And there was a lot of work out in the tar sands in Alberta at that time. And that was it, you know, got to feed the family. And after he left, he left in Edmonton when we were going through Edmonton. And the rest of the ride there, uh, to BC, I was in Vancouver, BC. I just wrote most of this song, thinking about his story and thinking about, uh, you know, wanting there to be more to sustain us. If all those little things in our lives could sustain us, uh, I think it would be a really amazing thing. Could keep a lot of families together. So that's when and where this song was written. It's called Get By.
When that train comes, you'll be five hundred miles from where you left me, and I don't understand what makes a man. What makes a man fall? Does what it can to get by. Do you remember when you were two feet tall? Your mama held you in the arms of an angel, and she. Pointed to the sky and said, "Look how far you've come. It's a long way home when you're on your own, but you got angels by your side. A nickel and a dime in the jukebox, and you'll be fine." What is life? Oh, love this life. Don't you throw away the morning rain in the month of May. It's those little things. So it's so. Thank you so much. Wow, it is such a treat to play with you, Travis. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel the same way, Annie. Thanks for letting me be your band. <laughs> <laughs> you make everything better. <laughs> um, I released an album during the pandemic, which was an unpopular move by most. Um, but it just felt like sometimes, I don't know if you've ever had this feeling, where you're like, I just need to get this out so I can move forward. And I'm really glad that I did. The album is called Soul Nostalgia. Um, soul Nostalgia? What is Soul Nostalgia? I'll tell you, everybody always asks. Everybody's always like, what is that word? And why can't I pronounce it? Um, it's like solace and nostalgia put into one word. Uh, and it's a funny little word uh, that was coined by this guy named Glenn Albrecht who is an amazing environmental philosopher and uh, ecological thinker in many ways. And um, 
the word kind of encapsulates this feeling of a sense of homesickness or the feeling of nostalgia about a place that once was a solace to you. And um, the album really kind of came through me at a time when I was dealing with a lot of that, that sort of feeling in this natural, beautiful world. And actually, cool thing is, is actually Glenn Albert reached out to me like a year ago, and he was like, hey, Annie, you wrote an album about this thing that I made up. And I was like, yes, I did. The whole album is based around this concept you coined. And he was like, the cool thing is, is that I've got a son who's a cellist, and he lives in Ontario. And I think maybe we're going to be friends one day. So that was the coolest thing that happened from this album. Probably other cool things have happened, but that was the, the notable one. Um, and this song is called Mother. And it's, it's a lot about trying to, to stand with that feeling of, of wanting to do better for this world. Mother, you don't look well Is it fever? Are you going through a change? Poison, will you drink the whole pipe dry? Oh 
<laughs> Did I hear a lady make her little whimper sound? <laughs> so cute. Ah, oh, are there any fans of the poet Mary Oliver in the room tonight? Hey. Yes, 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 indeed. Are there any brave humans that would care to come on up here and read a poem with us? Less claps, less claps. I believe that there's probably one person that would love to read a poem. And if not, no pressure. We can, uh, we can hold it down. I think Ken should do it. If no one else Ken. does it, Ken will do it. Oh, <laughs> Ken, we nominate Ken. Yeah. Ken, where are you at? Yes, yes, in the wings, in the wings. There it is, there he is. Woo! <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna run sound too, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, Ken's gonna work harder Ken's than everyone. Ken's gonna work else harder than everyone. Run, I just run have one question uh, New York or England? <laughs> you can have whatever accent you want. Really. All right, forget about it. <laughs> we got a poem about. over right. here. You guys want to hear a poem, eh? Queens, stand down. What do you want? I got. I got. <laughs> All right, we'll give you, we'll give you the nod when we're, uh, when we're ready. I'm really excited to hear Mary Oliver in a New Yorker's accent. That's gonna be so good. <laughs> so this song is called Among Trees. It's a new one. Um, and something about Mary Oliver's poetry that struck me as a kid. I think I, I first read her when I was like 14. And never before had anyone been able to articulate the sensation of being in a forest. Um, I don't know if you have this, if there's any forest lovers out there, but oh yeah, all right. Couple few, couple few in the building. But there's this feeling I'm sure that you're, you're in the know about, which is when you walk through the forest and suddenly everything seems to still in your body. And there's this internal feeling of peace. And that is a very literal physiological thing that is happening, that the trees are giving off these uh, pheromones that help our bodies and our nervous systems to calm down. But there's some sort of magic, I think, that also happens in that, too. So this song is called Among Trees, inspired by... Mary Oliver's poem called When I Am Among the Trees.
shared among the trees, especially the willows and the honey locust. Equally the beech, the oaks, and the pines. They gave all such hints of gladness. I would say that they saved me, and daily. I'm so distant from the hope of myself, in which I have goodness and discernment, and never hurry through the world, but walk slowly and bow often. Around me the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light flows from their branches, and they call again. It's simple. They say, and you have, you have come into this world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light, and to shine. That is officially the, <laughs> the deepest that poem has ever been delivered <laughs> in the lowest voice. <laughs> I felt like you. <laughs> Thank you for, for sharing that. That's awesome. Yeah, you were, you were some other creature. You were some other, some other being up here. Where did Ken go? I have no idea. <laughs> where, where did Ken go? <laughs> yeah, we invited the Lorax up. It worked out great. <laughs> All right, we've just got one more for you, and then we're going to take a little break. 15, something like that? OK. Um, yeah, we, so we have albums here. We also have uh, fresh herbs. We have culinary herbs and teas that we grow on the farm. Travis has some albums out as well. There's tote bags and vinyls. And we would love it if you, if you wanted to stock up. <laughs> Stock your cupboards for the for the long winter, the long winter ahead. It's soup season after all now. It doesn't feel like soup season. <laughs> yeah, quite not yet. here. <laughs> we we are the soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you mean. Yeah, back home we just had this glorious week of like, like what mid sixties. Oh yeah. Oh, it was lovely. Wow. Cloudy, fall. 60s, fall. Yeah, sorry. No, but this last, more recently, it was hot like this. So yeah. don't worry. We're, we're, <laughs> we're getting mad, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, please, we'll go hang out at the, we'll be hanging out during the break and come say hi. And um, one thing I always love mentioning is that hopefully if we come back here again, I do love to let people know um, and if you want to leave your name on our email list, then that'll make it easier for us to, to let you know when we're coming back again. Uh, so this last one is called Into Nothing. And it was also inspired by Mary Oliver. And almost every line in this uh, song was plucked from poems of hers. So that's fun. <laughs> Just one pebble on the shores of heaven Just one tail of the wind Just one star falling weightless into nothing Makes me wonder where darkness begins Oh, 
Just one glimpse of the wild geese flying One warm droplet of rain Just one taste of that maple sweet water Makes me Spring coming If I lived as lightly as the air Hardly there Leaving not a On the ground Ooh. One more day to break one last night to fall Just one spin of the earth And one brave step Through the door into nothing And I know now I was not a visitor Leaving not a footprint on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a little minute. <laughs>
<laughs> Do you folks feel like singing? Yeah! <laughs> Fantastic. That was so enthusiastic. <laughs> That's so great. So we're going to teach you just a very simple little melody. And we're going to sing it all together. It goes like this. Uh, Let's try that one more time. Let's try that one more time. Uh... written a lot in, inspired by the eastern landscapes of Canada, um, out in Nova Scotia or PI if you've ever been out there. Uh, there's something pretty magical about those landscapes and this Atlantic Ocean is a pretty, pretty beautiful place. Maybe we'll start with it, yeah? We'll start with it, here we go.
<laughs> well done. <laughs> wow, nice singing, everyone. Shoot, should we make you sing some more? <laughs> now that we know, cat's out of the bag. Cat's out of the bag. <laughs> Um, I mean, did I even hear harmonies? I feel like people were singing <laughs> harmonies. It's some next level situation out here. Janet, you were hiding this crew from us. <laughs> so this song, uh, this song is called In Everything. And it is somewhat like a prayer to me. Um, does anyone here believe in pantheism? Is that a thing that people know about the idea maybe that there's some uh, type of spirit that connects everybody and everything uh, helps us feel connected and like better versions of ourselves <laughs> um, so this song has a lot to do with that and it it arrived on the shorelines of Lake Superior up in northern Ontario. Um, and if you want to sing it with us, we can teach it to you. It goes, we'll do the first part first. It goes like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to try that? Three, four. Whoa. And then the second part. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to try that part? Whoa, 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 whoa. You've sung this before. All right, let's do the whole thing. Here we go. Three, four. part comes in we'll just we'll let you know it'll just come in hot and uh sing it with everything you got yeah if you feel that that little magic sing it with us travis is gonna be our our raindrops <laughs> what beautiful raindrops Cut your hair down no more. 
break my back just to start again lay my bare skin on the land and I would follow it home and I would walk a hundred miles to the river's end just to listen to what the water says cause I think she knows yes yeah, she knows that there is bit of God, yeah, a little bit of God in my soul, whoa, 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 whoa. sing that out now, whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. singing with us. We're going to get Travis to sing this, this next one with us. Um. <laughs> Wait. Which one is this? Last year? Right? Oh, yeah. Can I sing? Yeah. Okay. With, with you? Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> I'll come. Oh. You thought I was saying, like, you should sing this song? Yeah. Oh. I was worried. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the words like you do. You don't know the words? I sing them when you sing them. <laughs> I thought that was the arrangement. <laughs> this is uh, this is one of the first songs we ever learned how to play together. Actually, um, it's a song by the Lonesome Sisters, who might be familiar to folks around here. I think they're from down down near this way. Um, and something I found out is that one of the one of the two of the bandmates in the Lonesome Sisters passed away recently. And so this song just feels all the more powerful. It's called Blackbird, and uh, it's about reaching that other side. So it goes something like this. I know, wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How does it go? Oh, yeah. Oh, you started, don't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Blackbird, she's flying the old dusty road. She follows her heart and a promise of gold. And who light her way one star at a time? And where will she sleep tonight? Rock about 
just like the blackbird one beautiful day heaven will call me to come fly away and who will light my way one star at a time where will I sleep that night days along rivers wide I'll empty my pockets on the earth Thank you so much. <laughs> That's Travis Knapp, everybody, <laughs> on the banjo. <laughs> I really love, we actually, I think we learned that during quarantine. We of sort of, <laughs> yeah, we had to quarantine so many times because I'm from Ontario and Travis is from the States. And when we wanted to see each other during the pandemic, it was this whole big to-do we had to quarantine for 14 days anytime we crossed the border. And um, so I think there was one Christmas we spent in quarantine together and we learned that song. Mm -hmm. Might have just been. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that one's a special mm -hmm. one. <laughs> this next one has nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> this song is called Fleur. It's like my bad French accent. <laughs> yeah, my bad Quebecois accent. <laughs> um, yeah, it was inspired by this amazing short story read by Louise Erdick. Um, yeah, nods, nah, cool. She's awesome. And Fleur was a character in one of her uh, short stories, an indigenous woman uh, during the Canadian settlement and her character was so powerful that it inspired a song. It goes like this. To be weathered, beaten by the sun. Let's just stay window in the eye. the street and the people in the town that were dying to meet you he's a temperamental boy never knowing if he's coming or he's going or lighting a fire in your heart to be weathered and beaten by the Suggested, arranged to be married to a man you've never known. It's on the front page news and it's news to you. So you walk down to the water, alter your reflection with a stone, stand and watch the ripples carry on. You say, there's a burning in your heart You've been waiting, you keep waiting I said this town on fire Whoa. 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 
You take their money and they'll take your life And you say there's a burning in your heart You've been waiting, you keep waiting to set this town on To be weathered, beaten by someone And it's all been locked up in the attic of that house you used to know Are you guys all right if we play you a love song? <laughs> I, uh, so Travis and I got married last year. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, and it was sort of one of these, it was a little bit of a pandemic wedding. It yeah, was. it was. Your, your father had a mask on. That's right. Had <laughs> just had COVID. Yeah, so. yeah. that's right. Um, so... It ended up looking very different than maybe we thought it would. Um, but it was this beautiful gathering of just our immediate families on the farm where we live. And everyone was in this beautiful circle for the ceremony and sharing such sweet words. Oh my God, it was like a cry fest. We just cried for like half an hour and then smooched about it. Um, and we laughed hysterically. <laughs> laughed when we a lot. Crying. It was very lovely. It was very <laughs> special. But this song uh, was written kind of in thinking about how many people I felt with us there that day and the presence of them, how much it meant to have them there. Um, and it's a bit of a love song for this sun drop over here. Travis's nick nickname is Sundrop, which I, I think is quite fitting. Drop of sunlight upon my skin. Let the day turn into night again. Where the whispered voice of love is heard We've been called without a word mm. 
just got a couple more songs for you. This has been such a blast. Um, I want to give a huge thanks to a lot of people. First, I want to thank Patron for coming out tonight and taking snaps all night. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I want to thank John for coming and setting up early and Ken on the sound all night. Uh, yeah, big round of applause for Ken. <laughs> Kind of, yeah, kind of and for poetry, for poetry. Also, want to thank Nikki for running the live stream tonight. <laughs> big, big, awesome stuff. Yeah. Um, and Michael, who couldn't be here, but maybe we should sing "Happy Birthday" for in a second. Oh yeah. Should we do it? Should we do it? You want to happy birthday? It? Okay, so it was John's birthday, it was Travis Knapp's birthday, it was also Michael's birthday, who's not here. So I know you know the words to this one. We should probably sing it out. Was it also Ken's birthday? Ken's birthday. Ken's birthday. Oh, oh, it was Ken's birthday, not John's yeah, yeah, yeah. birthday. Oh, Ken's birthday. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot still, but... All right, mouthful. <laughs> Ken, Travis, Michael. Okay, in that order. Yeah? Yeah. In the trees. In the trees. Happy birthday to the trees. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ken and Travis and Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for that. And last round of applause that I would love to offer is to our darling Janet for hosting us at the Severide House. <laughs> uh, yeah, Janet, you are a dream. We're not worthy of you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna close off with these last two. Thank you so much for having us.
Barefoot in the forest, following the raven, a path I have not taken. Calling out into the darkness, have you seen the blackbird? Silent is the answer. Oh, night sky, with all your open eyes, how far have you seen? Half walk in your grove, black the wings of thunder, spell that holds me under. I can hear the wolf cry, howling incantations. Have you seen the raven? Oh, wild one, running with the woman. How far have you? And deep within the dark, my heart is beating. Feather fingered hands learning to fly. Somewhere in the night, there calls a raven with a song I have known all of my life I went back Singing with the raven, a dream that will not wake up.
the voice is sound shower in starlight down all the people gather Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much uh, for welcoming us, making us feel so at home. I, uh, yeah, we're gonna play you one more love song, I guess. Yeah. So we're going to do this song by Anais Mitchell, and she's a lovely <laughs> folk singer and songwriter out of Vermont, and she's been living in Brooklyn for the uh, last long while now. Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is, uh, hmm, what do you know? Now you know. Yeah. And um, honestly, I think it's probably one of my favorite love songs ever. Do you know this one? Do you know this one?
about dying I think about children When I think about children I think about you When I think about you I feel like crying Crying for my youth for my life. 